Welcome. Today is sort of a special event video because I'm at the great ceramics festival here in Denmark, in the southern part of Denmark, in a small city called Skelskør. It's a festival where lots of professional, the best ceramic artists in Denmark, I think even some abroad, uh, come here, gather together, showcase some of their work and also sell it. And uh, the artist talks and demonstrations and exhibitions and galleries are opening. And it's just a very good event. And luckily enough, the weather is nice, as you see, blue sky. When I left home, it was raining. It was pouring down. I live about an hour from here, so I was a little bit afraid it would be bad here too. But it turned out really nice. So today I will um, show some of the work that you can find here and uh, talk with some of the artists. The festival is divided into two areas that is centered around the harbor. It's a beautiful small harbor in this uh, coastal city down in the south of Denmark. Just ceramic artists that are present at this um, festival. There's also some of the local uh, pottery suppliers. And this is uh, one uh, called Silke Nordic that uh, I do a lot of dealings with. They uh, have very nice um, supplies. I use a lot of the clay that they import primarily from Germany. They have good selections of tools and some materials. So um, it's one of my favorite companies here. This is really interesting. This is truly a very unique way of uh, dealing with clay and just shows, once again, there's endless ways that you can do ceramics if you are creative and open-minded enough.
There's almost too much pottery here. <laughs> well, can never be too much pottery, but it is really, really high quality. It is the best of the professional potters in Denmark, so not surprisingly, it is very, very good. But it is very inspiring too. Uh, their techniques, their shapes, their ways of glazing that I've never seen before. And uh, of course, I haven't seen everything, but. It is very inspiring for me as a potter to see this. I mean, I can only do a fraction of it. I will never be able to do most of what these amazing potters are doing, but it is inspirational. Besides, I'm not trying to copy anyone, but getting inspiration from a ceramic market like this is a, it's a good. I can bring it home and I can you know, pick little pieces from here and there. And I think that's uh, one of the good reasons to go. Another good reason, of course, is to chat a little bit with um, all the colleagues in the business. And um, I met quite a few that I have only had the opportunity to meet online previously. And uh, no, shaking hands and uh, having a drink is a, is a good addition to that. Rasmus Eliasen is uh, one of the potters that I had the most uh, talks with and uh, never met. So this is the first time we actually meet. Uh, he works a lot with uh, wood firing and these uh, wonderful uh, textured uh, pots. He also recently acquired a gas kiln, so now he's doing a lot of reduction in the gas kiln. Um, like most potters, he don't have his own wood fire kiln. Um, it is difficult, you need uh, space for that, and uh, very few of us have that. So um, he has to travel quite a lot to get to, um, to this uh, place, actually close to this festival area, where they have uh, some of the most wood-fired kilns in uh, Northern Europe, and a very good place. I have a couple of videos from that place, so if you're interested, uh, you can search for wood fire on, um, here on YouTube. I've been here a few hours and I almost feel like going home and cutting my hands off because there's so many good potters. This one is uh, another one of those very unique uh, ceramic artists because he primarily works with extrusion. And uh, extrusion is uh, this technique where you push out clay through some uh, forms 
and you can make all these. I mean, most often people extrude hands or something, but but uh, but uh, Nils has taken this to a completely different level, and he's making all these wonderful pieces that are far from the mechanical extruded uh, parts that you uh, very often see. He's truly a very unique uh, artist. This is a very interesting technique that is actually related somehow to the pit fire that I do. These are based on a very old Danish technique we call the Yule product. So they are uh, smoke-fired uh, raw pots and they've been used in kitchenware for a few hundred uh, years here in Denmark. They're very beautiful. I really, really like this uh, uh, matte, dark uh, surface that you get. And you can see over here that uh, they actually demonstrated how they do it. So it's uh, fired with wood and straw, and then they, they, um, they put this uh, barrel over it and they choke it. So uh, they reduce all the oxygen and uh, then the, the carbon is attached to the pot and it's, it's almost like magic. And there's actually a living museum in Denmark, not that far from me, where they, um, where they demonstrate this. There's a small poster that, uh, that sort of shows this uh, process. It's a very, very cool way of making old-fashioned uh, kitchenware. I'm on my way home now, or actually, I'm walking to the car. <laughs> I saw a lot of pottery. I talked with a lot of fellow uh, potters, and uh, I just enjoyed myself very much. So you're looking at a very happy potter, inspired to go home and do better. <laughs> this is a yearly event. Uh, so if you're ever in Denmark, uh, I very much recommend that you come by Skelskør in uh, this time of year. Uh, I can put a link to the yeah, festival site so you can see when it's, uh, when it's time next year. It's been a wonderful day and I hope that you enjoyed uh, the collage of, um, of pottery that <laughs> I took you through here. It wasn't very well organized, uh, uh, I wasn't trying to teach you anything specific, but uh, just inspire and share the inspiration I got from this. So um, again, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, share, comment, and come back again next Sunday. I will have another video ready. Have a great day.